Hello, Scorpio. This is Tara Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do your future true love reading for March, April, May 2018. So welcome to the channel. Um, this is going to be for the singles, but I noticed that the reading that I just did, <laughs> uh, I could see people breaking up with somebody currently. And I can see that that's possibly what you guys are doing also because the Eight of Cups comes up. But let's take a look at the entire reading. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. All right. So Scorpios, first of all, looking at your future true love card, you got the Ace of Wands. So many of you are going to have a fire sign. Okay, that person is either going to be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, they could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces also. <laughs> uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, but just to let you guys know, you do have the Queen of Cups that shows up in your reading. So I've been sort of, I don't know where that came from. That's so weird. Anyway, Scorpio. You've got a fire sign, though, you can tell. Or I will tell you that I'm seeing a lot of very, very passionate connection. I'm seeing a very, very passionate connection for a lot of you Scorpios, okay? Uh, the Ace of Wands represents your future true love. I feel like you guys are going to meet that person very, very soon. I'm seeing March, April for the singles. Okay. So just to let you guys know, I feel like it is coming up very soon. I feel like a lot of you Scorpios just recently, uh, either you're leaving a rough situation or you have been out of a relationship for at least a year and you're ready to move on. Will the attraction be instant? Yes. The King of Wands comes up. Oh my goodness. So Scorpios, you are going to want, you are probably going to jump in the bed with this person. And you know what? That's okay. A lot of people, like even if you guys, this is your true love, everybody doesn't marry their true love, to be honest with you, okay? But if you guys were to hook up, you know, the first night you meet, then who's going to judge you? Nobody has to know that. That's your business. You're grown, okay? Need I remind you that you don't have to go and tell people what you do sexually, Scorpio. You don't have to do that. You can keep that to yourself. Okay, now will the attraction be instant? Yes, it will. Um, what will the person be like? The Eight of Cups. So I feel like this person is going to be very positive. They are actually leaving somebody as well. They are actually going to be going in a more positive direction. They may be, um, they may be somebody that just recently stopped drinking. Maybe they are very health conscious. Scorpio, I see them as being very health conscious, paying attention to what they eat, what they put in their body. Um, I also feel as though they are, they do sort of have abandonment issues. Okay, they may have abandonment issues looking at that Eight of Cups. Okay, but I feel like they are going in a positive direction. Okay. <laughs> um, challenges is the Queen of Cups. So again, the emotional thing. There may be some kind of emotional abandonment issue that's there. Queen of Cups also does represent this person possibly being a water sign or having, are the water in their chart sort of clashing with yours? Okay. So you guys may like, I feel like this is your twin flame because of the Ace of Wands. Whenever you meet your twin flame, you just feel more powerful. Okay, you do. You do feel more powerful. You feel like you can take on the world. So I do feel like this is going to be your twin flame, no matter what zodiac sign they are. And there may be challenges because, you know, you're going to look at them and you're going to be like, oh, my God, this person is just like me. So I feel like you're going to be you're going to feel like maybe you're too much alike, <laughs> which when is that ever a bad thing? OK, but I feel like some of you uh, Scorpios may run from the situation. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on the Queen of Cups. Okay, see there, Queen of Swords and the Chariot. So it's time to move on, Scorpio, but many of you are not ready to. I feel like, it, it, you know, you're trying to move on from an air sign. 
you can see here you're trying to move on from either a an Aquarius Libra or a Gemini and that situation is holding you back I feel like your Gemini your air sign they know how to distract us so an air sign can keep you to themselves for many, many years just by distracting you from life. <laughs> Sometimes when it comes to them or anybody, you have to do a spiritual cleansing on yourself. Okay. Sometimes you also have to, I feel like the chariot represents how this person throws off your focus. This is really an issue for you. Because they're always up to something. They're very active. They're very mentally active, Scorpio. And you can pick up on them. Very, very challenging for you. Okay. They almost throw off your cognition. They are being negative. Yes, they are. They waste a lot of energy. They, you've told this person that they're your ex. They're your ex. So you're trying to move on from a toxic ex. And that person is not wanting you to. So, you know, they they do sort of throw off your focus. Yep, they do. Um, one thing I can, and I'm pulling it up now, is a cognition enhancer. Okay, Scorpio, you can use the cognition enhancer. You can use uh, like a focus study. Um, frequency, something to help you focus, something that, because that person sort of scatters you. If you need help with that, the link to my website is below. If you need to get rid of this person's energy, please contact me. I can help you. Okay. So I do, I am a high priestess. Feels like that person, there's some, there, there's literally a severe, like long term for a lot of you Scorpios that, that are single. You've been single long term and that person, literally your ex wants to keep you single. Okay. Or it could be them, your lover, your future love. Both of you may have that. What will help is the three of pentacles. So I feel like spirits is saying for you to, uh, Scorpio, for you to know your own power, for you to start to manifest your future, for you to grow. Feel like it represents personal growth. The three of pentacles represents, um, a job that you're possibly going to get. I feel like a lot of you are going to either get a raise or a promotion during this time. And it's going to really, really uplift your spirits. And it's going to give you a fresh start. Because some of you actually work with this person. Okay. Or I feel like a lot of you Scorpios have discussed way too much at work. Okay. Don't tell people at work your personal business. That's. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and so, yeah, that's been my deepest regret being a YouTuber is people knowing my personal business. That's a weakness because people are able to jab at you with it. People are able to mess with your emotions because of it. And I can see that that's kind of happening at your job, Scorpio, either your job or within your family. Uh, but when, where or how will you meet? I feel like the Ten of Wands represents, again, this person is going to be coming up and you're going to be meeting this person pretty quickly. Okay, I can definitely see them coming up very, very soon. I feel like a lot of you are reaching, you've reached the end of the cycle. The, the, the cycle has played out. There can be no more of that cycle. It's time to move on. So you've been oppressed Scorpio for quite some time, especially you single Scorpios out there, you've been oppressed. Your emotions have been oppressed. You've been going through some things, okay, for the past, some of you, several years, okay? So I feel like you guys are going to meet that person uh, when the moon is in Aries. And that will be... <laughs> Let me see, guys. I love it. Okay. Um, if I'm looking between this time, I feel like you're going to meet this person somewhere between this month and the third week of April. Okay. Big time. I feel like a lot of you are, you know, I feel like that's coming up within this moon cycle. Okay. Because, um, yeah. And I also do feel as though it is going to either be 
uh, on the new moon or the full moon. Let me look at the current moon phase right now. Yeah, just breathe in everything that you want. Breathe out all the bad, okay? Blow out all that bad stuff. All right, so right now we're at a 50% moon. Very powerful Friday for love, okay? Uh, we will be coming up on a new moon very soon on March the 17th. So, yeah, shortly after the new moon, okay, in between that time. Okay, in between possibly March the 17th. Let's look at the, hold on a minute. I feel like it's coming up pretty quickly. And the reason why is because of the Ace of Wands. So a lot of you are about to explode. And I could feel, <laughs> not in a bad way. I could feel you guys though. I, I could feel because you guys are a sister sign of ours. All Scorpios are my sisters, okay? So possibly between that and April the 16th or a little bit after that with the new moon, okay? So we're at a 50% new moon now, and the new moon is coming up on the 17th of March. So between March the 17th and April the 17th, okay? You're going to meet that person. How will you meet that person? I do feel as though it is going to be at a family engagement or either could possibly be at work for some of you, but it may be a family engagement. Oh my goodness, that uh, super intelligent, uh, improved focus and concentration really, really did help. Okay, believe it or not, that, that person, whoever it is, they're not they're they're sort of messing with your head a little bit. So if you need some help with that, y'all need to contact me because I am an empath and I could feel what that what your ex is doing to you, Scorpio. I could feel them. And um, so anyway, uh, when, so we went over when, where, again, I feel as though it is going to be possibly at, some of you is going to be at a doctor's office or a hospital. Okay. It is, it, and you, I don't feel like you're going to be in poor health. I feel like um, somebody else that, that you know could be in poor health or you're going to meet them at possibly the gym. I can see you meeting them at the gym. Okay. Uh, but I feel like it's, you know, mainly going to be maybe a family gathering where there's a lot of tension, you know, very, very high intense situation where I can see family. Uh, how will you meet spontaneously? I feel like you're going to totally not be, you know, but I feel like it's going to be genuine. Okay. I definitely feel as though it's going to be a genuine connection, you know, and I, the only advice that I can offer you is that if you do meet this person around your nosy family, don't tell them that you're talking. Something just tells me that. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of that 10 of wands. Spirit, give me some clarity on the, yeah, your family, they're horrible for your love life, Scorpio. They are, especially if you're a female. Uh, you've got family members, you've got I don't want to say that, but <laughs> I don't want to say that, but some of you may have some perverted uh, distant cousins that are secretly sabotaging your love life. Okay. Anyway, Spirit, give me some clarity on the Ten of Wands. Uh-huh. See the Prince of Cups and the Six of Wands. So again, see loose lips sh sink ships. I feel like you want to Sort of slip them your number, you know, without letting them know and sort of kind of keep it low key that you're attracted to each other. And I feel like that person is possibly going to be trying to do that, Scorpio. But I feel like Prince of Cups comes up. I mean, you don't necessarily have to like act weird or 007 with that person, but just sort of be discreet about it. And I feel like that person, like I said, they're, they could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, Scorpio, fire or water. Uh, it's a distinct possibility that they could be earth or air. It's a possibility, but I'm seeing a lot of water. I feel like this person is going to pick up on the need to be discreet at that time. They're going, oh, because they don't know what's <laughs> what's up with the family. They talk too much, and they, you know, they 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 get together and they say things that are negative about each other, and then it manifests. I know because my family is the same way, and they wonder why. 
people that are successful stay away from them because they speak negatively of people and they try to speak negative and curses over every damn thing that you do. So I have the same kind of family. I do. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Scorpio. I'm so excited for you guys. Come back and let me know how this resonates with you during this time frame. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. Blessed be.